Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and um, yeah, I don't tend to do too many unpacking videos these days, but um, I thought this was definitely worth a, uh, a special update for you. So this was um, a part of a trade which was setting up between uh, myself and somebody on the UK Locksport Forum, uh, Tony, and uh, we, we got chatting about a particular lock, and I. I haven't actually looked at anything in here other than rifling through to just check that um, there isn't any personal notes. And one of the first things which I found was this. I thought, oh, it is a personal note. I'll keep that out for the unboxing and unveiling. And it turns out that actually it wasn't. It was the thing which I'd or originally contacted Tony about, which was this schematic for the post bag lock, which, um, if you remember, so is this the yeah the patent application for it? If you remember me picking it, uh, picking a, a U.S. post bag lock, which I think Lock Picking Lawyer gave me, um, or oh, a few months back now, then this is the patent application which has a schematic in it which shows you all the levers. Um, not only that, is that, um, and I'm very fortunate about this, is that Tony also said that he would send me his version of the post bag lock, which comes with a key. That is so incredibly rare um, and so cool. So I'm gonna see if that's in here. I did have a peek and I think it's actually in this bit of the packet. If you wonder why all this is like ripped and see-through, it's because uh, Tony put my address on extremely well with sellotape. Here we go. Uh, don't need that, do I think? What's in here? Ah. Wow, this is, I've not quite seen so many package anything like that. Um, okay, scissors I think, I'm not gonna try and unknot the string. Um, it's beautiful knot so, good work, somebody was a scout. And this is sent all the way from the Netherlands, obviously via the US, possibly the UK, and other places. There we go. So yeah, just look at this key. Look how much key there is. It's crazy, isn't it? Seems to be cast as well, I think. It's a cast key. Very cool. It's the first time I've used uh, one of these US mail um, locks with a key. So, um, wow, that's so cool. And then you, um, you would uh, basically uh, trip the latch by hold on pushing a mail bag loop in there you go that's so cool that's so cool I love it so it's so cool to actually see what the key looks like it's almost the same size as the lock that's crazy I love it okay throw this away what else do we have in here tag out lockout safety pad lock there's no branding on it. Must be new. Ooh, is this slider? Is this one with sliders? I'm guessing it is actually. I'm never, I don't think I've picked a slider lock truthfully. Let's have a look in there. Um, yeah, this, there, it's wafers. So these are wafers with sliders. Okay. So, um, yeah, guess I'll be learning how to pick a lock with sliders. Cool. Love that. I like new stuff that's you know interesting, a bit different. Okay, what else do we have? Stanley, a little thirty mil one, two, three, four pin lock. Quite a big core in it. That's quite good actually. Some of these have tiny, tiny, teeny weeny cores, which are very hard to pick. Um another box? Ala, ALA. In bronzo, fosforo, uh, do you think that's uh, Italian? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is it Italian? Was it Italy? Oh, thank God. Um, yeah, um, you always worry about whether is there an opening, whether I get the language right. Some of these romance languages look quite similar when they're written down. Oh, that, come here. Well, that's quite a nice bitting, hasn't it? 
so it's, well, it's relatively flat, but it's a very, very low pin one, two, three, four, five. Nice Yale style key, okay. I like him, I like him. ALA Euros, oh look, your Euro's got an E on it. I like it, love that. Tony knows that I really like padlocks. What else we got? Is it an Abus? What, what are you? It is an Abus. Abus sixty five fifty. Reasonable, reasonably flat bitting. Why Kiwi? You see where this has been in a shop. It seems to have like been in a shop, getting tarnished up, um, with only the price tag sticker left. Really nice lock though. Love it. Abus is always fun picks. Always. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, oh, okay. Nice, nice. Oh, a little cute. Uh, oh, it's so. Whoa. I think that must be a warded lock. Okay, that's cool. And. Oh, an Apus My Lock. These are always fun too. Uh, with their. Oh, quite good bitting actually. Really good. Especially with that uh, Kiwi R. I reckon we could pick that. Yep, okay, that's cool. What's this? Is this another Abus? What are you? It doesn't appear to be in keys with it. It's a... Oh! Nemeth but Asa Abloy. I mean, I know Asa Abloy own nearly everything, but Nemeth? I've not heard of that. Yale Keyway? Again? Nemeth. Nemeth. No, not familiar. Very cool to have something I, I don't recognise. So really, that's really cool. So, let's bring all this in. What a cool package. Um, clearly this US mail lock with a key is uh, the jewel in the crown but what awesome jewels the crown has look at all of these love it, love it, love it um, shall we have a go at picking something should we have a go, should we have a go I reckon we should um, I'm going to try this Euro safety uh, what pick should I use? I'm going to try and use one of those and one of these. And let's see if this classic combination will work for us. So, need a wider tension tool. Here's one. Should be okay. A zero seven B, and let's have a go. I, I, I'm guessing I'll have spools in, but I don't know for sure. Oh, I've got an open. There we go. So that was the ALA Euro Safety. Awesome. Love it. Um, thank you, Tony, for the excellent uh, package. Really love it. I'm going to have a, a good pick through all of these now. And um, and thank you so much for this uh, little post bag lock showing it's wow is that like to scale that's amazing um showing its internals as well absolutely brilliant um you can actually see here how you lift the lever pack up and this whole thing is sprung so it will actually uh, drop into uh the the gates but when you push back down on it the uh all these levers are sprung so once you've pulled the um the, the bolt, I guess it's like the bolt stump in this out of the lever pack, they'll drop back down again. Very ingenious design, very cool, and such an awesome thing. Right, I will see you all next time.